Today we're going to answer how do we represent fractions in different ways. So what is a fraction? A fraction is any part of a group, number, or whole. The fraction two-fourths, as depicted in this picture, is the two shaded pieces of the four equal parts. The two is the numerator, which is the top number, which represents the parts of the whole, and the four is the denominator, which equals how many parts equal the whole. Let's look at this rectangle. It equals one whole. The bottom rectangle also equals one whole. And if we chop it up into four equal parts called fourths, four fourths still equals one whole. Let's look at another one. This rectangle still equals a whole, but this time let's split it up into six equal parts, or six. And let's only shade in some of the parts. We could see, we using a number bond, that 4 6 equals the shaded parts, and 2 6 equals the unshaded parts, but when combined together, still equals one whole. Let's represent fractions using number lines. If we look at this rectangle broken into six, on a number line we'd put a zero on one end and a one on the other, and the equal parts in between. As we move closer to the one, our numerator increases until we get to 6 6, which equals one whole. Now let's represent the fraction 3 fifths on a number line. When we lay out a number line, we put a 0 on one end and a 1 on the other, and 5 marks after 0 until we get to 1. As you can see, as our fractions increase, we get to 5 fifths, which equals 1, we locate 3 fifths, and we plot it on our number line. Now it's your turn to try some on your own. Go to the web address below. I hope you had fun watching. Have a great day.